Hey guys, I want to do a uh, quick review. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap helmet, uh, this one's uh, made by Attack Life. And here's the uh, product number on it. It's PAH03D uh, protective uh, equipment. So it's labeled as PPE. And it's an auto darkening helmet. So it just came, I haven't opened it yet. All right, so uh, what I have been using is my 3M speed glass. So I've been using this quite a bit, uh, but I was looking for something that uh, was relatively inexpensive and kind of the same, uh, you know, as the speed glass. So it does have uh, specs on here. So it looks like uh, the shade up to shade 16. Uh, it does have shade three and five, and then it goes from four to 13. Uh, the reaction time is one in 25,000 seconds. Uh, has short and long for uh, delay time and inside can be continue adjustable. So let's get it open and see what it looks like inside. Um, you know, I was typically looking for something for TIG. Uh, you can use it for MIG as well. So what's nice about having a backup helmet if for some reason, you know, you can keep one in your truck or in your car or whatever you got to do or one in the shop. So, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on getting uh, another speed glass. Uh, they're nice, I just don't know if they're worth the money. So, Tack Life gives you this nice bag, which is nice. So, it's almost like, uh, kind of like the Miller bags. So, they're pretty soft inside as well. So, you can put this in there for traveling. It's got a zipper, I'm assuming, for uh, gloves, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, so yeah, so it's got an outside zipper and then the uh, bag for the helmet itself. All right, so let's take a look at the helmet itself. All right, so we got the helmet. It came with more lenses. It came with a uh, another battery, which is cool, and it came with the uh, instruction manual. So, all right, so I'm gonna go in and uh, show you what this looks like. Again, it's, this is very similar to the 3M speed glass uh, that I bought. This is kind of why I like these. It does say tag life on top. So let me see if you're in the shot of the helmet yet. So, so if you can look here, the screen size is pretty much similar. Um, if I had to relate this, it would uh, be more closer towards the Miller screens because uh, the way that they do it is uh, the square viewing angle. It's got the uh, rechargeable strip up top as well and uh, let's show the uh, inside so so right here and uh, it's got the tack life on top so here's the inside of it it's actually pretty nice so the headset has pretty soft so it's got soft uh, padding in it which is nice and then there's the inside of it so you can actually adjust right here you can adjust from 10 to 13, uh, or not, I'm sorry, nine to 13 rather. And then you can go four to eight for grind. I mean, four to eight and then grind. So you have your welding, nine to 13, your torch, four to eight, and then your grinding mode. So then it also has the delay and sensitivity as well. Let me see if I can get in there so you can actually see. So that's what it looks like. And um, it looks like it has test as well. So. If, you want to test the battery you just hold it in so you can test it so as long as it, if it lights up you're good it, all right so comes up red that's good that's normal all right so uh, it also has the protective film inside <clears throat> as well so one of the nice things like i said the headgear is really soft so let me show you the headgear inside of the uh the speed glass so you can kind of see the difference so that's the tack life and that's the 3m uh, so the tag life is a little bit more comfortable, I think, uh, just by the way they have it set up. So it's got the strap right here where you can uh, change how it fits on your head. Then on the side, tightens it and loosens it. So let me go ahead and put this on. All right, so you can loosen it up. <clears throat> All right, and then tighten it right here and then tighten this side all right so uh, you can lift it put it down 
So it's actually pretty nice. Uh, it stays up and I like the ones where you can flip it like that and it comes down. Uh, one of the problems I have sometimes with the speed glass is you can put it on, put it there, and it's tough to flip. So uh, I don't know if it's the mechanism in here that, that moves it, but um, you know, for, like I said, relatively inexpensive helmet, these are around uh, 65 to 70 bucks. I'd have to go look, um, you know, opposed to, to this one, which is, you know, 300, three to 400 dollars, depending on which model you get. So um, yeah, so that's it. I'll, uh, I'll show you some, some arc shots later down the road so you can kind of see uh, I have some TIG projects that I want to do which are coming up and uh, I'll actually show you some arc shots and I don't know maybe I'll do a comparison uh, in between um, and I'll, the other thing is these are the uh, standard plates the three 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 um, three point five and then I believe that's five across so uh, they're the standard size so you can get these anywhere you can get them at your local welding shop where these are custom, so you have to get those from Speed Glass online or, or whatnot. So, but yeah, so let me see, uh, let me grab the camera here and show you some close-ups of it. All right, so, uh, and this is the black matte finish. So let me show you the back of it. All right, and then let me try to show you the inside again. So let me zoom you in. There's the model number right there. And then again, here is the setting. So it's pretty neat to have that. Uh, let me show you the inside of the speed glass, just so you can see. <clears throat> so it's got the same same type, uh, nine to 13, five to eight. So it's got the same shades. Um, it's got the same delay. It looks like it might not have cut. So uh which i believe is off i'm not really sure so um but again you know and here's the here's the headgears uh from both so if you notice it's kind of thin and this is almost like rubbery right so that's a speed glass and then you can see on here uh it's got the nice pat it's padded all the way through and then it clips on where this clips actually around it so um so you can see right here. So, and these do look interchangeable. I'm not sure if you can get uh, new padding for these and whatnot, but uh, another thing is, here's the speed glass. No padding on the back of that, so it's just rubber. And here's the back of this one. So Tack Life did a really, really good job on this. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you wanna check it out, but you really can't beat it for uh, an expensive helmet. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll get some arc shots on this and we'll get some use out of it and I'll update it, um, you know, as I go and as I use it and uh, tell you what I like about it and tell you what I don't. Uh, but this was the initial unboxing video. Not that I'm a huge fan of unboxing videos, but I wanted to get this out here so you can see what it looks like. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.